Good morning, world. Ow. Uh, happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to the Paint with Pete Studios. Turn this guy down a sec. So, hello, my name is Pete Obsolete. Welcome to the Paint with Pete Studio. Today is Tuesday. Good morning. It doesn't matter which day you're watching it on, um, but for the live uh, viewers, today's Tuesday and it's colour day. So, every week in the studio, I get my colour out. I've got all my paints down, down here. I've got a selection of pens. Um, I've got some black, some pink, orange, purple, blue, grey. Some nice simple tones and stuff. Um, so it's all dictated by you today though. So I need some colours please. First request of the day is that you suggest some colours uh, for me to create with my mixing pots down here. Um, I have all the basic colours, bit of gold, red, blue, yellow, bit of green. Um, so please make a colour up and I will paint it uh, while we're just getting sorted. While I'm just getting sorted, I do apologise. Come on. Um, I'm going to colour my Kofi sign-in. So uh, this is how you can support the Paint With Peace um, just from buying a coffee. It's only three quid as a donation. Uh, that'll go straight into the pen uh, pot, literally. Um, so the pot for the pens and the materials of the Paint With Peace studio. I'm just setting this guy up. Um, so, take a minute, grab some pens. If you do have some colour, if you've got any crayons, uh, you know, pastels, felt tips, cray um, watercolour pencils, whatever it is, please just grab them, any kind of colour. If you haven't, do not worry. This is where a little bit of imagination will always count. Uh, and obviously you can imagine those colours. And when we do have time to go and grab some pens or some paint or whatever, uh, you can bank that idea. And obviously you can either put Y for yellow and R for red in the places where you want the colour. So you can do a little colour by numbers whenever you get some colour. Or you can just use your imagination, press harder down on the pencil, uh, be a bit lighter with your pen, it will give it a totally different shade. Uh, talking of shade, you can also shade, use shading um, so you can go heavy and light and shading and they will give tones of colour. So if you have only got a pencil and pen, absolutely fine. Uh, you are more than welcome to join us. I'm just going to do some colouring in really, really quickly. Uh, just because I think my Kofi sign needs a little bit of colour. So, let's get this going. Okay. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's get this on. Da, 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 da. Just so I can see you guys. And uh, if anyone wants to shout me out and say hello, please do. There we go. Okay, cool. So, I'm just going to grab some uh, Sharpies. I'm just going to quickly uh, colour in my uh, promo sign. Okay, uh, let's go bright pink. Why not? Yeah, there's a nice pink. If you don't have anything to colour in, please draw me and then colour that in. Um, if you want to send me a photo as well, take a photo of your drawing of me if you are just waiting for me to finish colouring in. Alright, lovely. All I'm doing is just colouring my little sign in, just so everybody can see what it says. There we go. we go let's choose a green nice turquoise I'm just going to do bits and bobs throughout the show so I'll do uh, four letters now do some in the break in their brew time and then we'll come back to it just before the end Go. 
So one more letter, then we're going to start uh, with our doodle colour. Um, we're going to concentrate on um, Independent Women's Day. International Women's Day, sorry, it is Independent Women's Day as well. But uh, the official term is International Women's Day. I don't think it should be a day, it should be a, you know, forever. Um, we'll celebrate it every day this week. Uh, so let's do one more colour. Maybe we'll just sit here. Okay, cool. So one more. Okay, so we'll come back to that in about half an hour. So let's just move Kofi. Okay, so we can go under here just for now. Just while we get a bit of a doodle session going. So I want to make sure that we're doodling. Ugh, where's my seat gone? Uh, so I'm going to put a mix of uh, pink and black. Works there. Yeah, good. Okay, so I'm just going to do a mix of pink and black. I'm going to do the symbol for woman. So the symbol for man is a circle with an arrow. Uh, the, the symbol for women is a circle with a plus sign underneath it. So we're going to do loads of women's symbols uh, just to channel some uh, feminine energy into the paint with peas. Um, I've realised that I'm actually using a, a stereotypically feminine colour. Doesn't matter right now, this pink is one of my favourite colours. So we're going to drop all of those connotations, all of those kind of prejudices against colour. Um, so whether it's pink and blue for boy and girl, it doesn't matter right now. I'm going to use pink and black just because they look great together, right? So, let's get a pen as well. Is this Mr. Dead? No. Okay, so we're just going to fill our, our page. Um, I might switch that up a bit, actually. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, we'll do pink to start with, all right? I might just put loads of different colours on and then do like a, a black symbol in the middle. Uh, of the woman symbol. We'll see, I'm just going to start with pink. So, I'm in the wrong place. I've moved my paints in <laughs> two seconds. Let's move this to the water. Always take a bit of time to give yourself some elbow room uh, and obviously find a place that you're comfortable with drawing. Hopefully you can still see me. Yes, 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 yes. yes. There we go. Okay, so, all we're going to do you draw the symbol for woman loads of different times on this uh, sheet so we've got a nice, a nice background camouflage so big circle plus sign the symbol for woman there we are so let's do loads of these nice and big loads of different variations on them in fact we could even bring a spiral into it if you wanted Obviously, my pen runs out. Where's the guy? Overlap him. Okay. I'm just switching between pens because they're both running out. That's what the Kofi's for. All right. Uh, so let's keep, just keep doing. It doesn't matter if they get a bit scratchy. This is our doodle sheet, so anything is possible on here. You can do anything you want on the doodle sheets. And again, approach it like it's the first time you're drawing on that sheet, and you'll lose those inhibitions about going over your own lines and all that as well. Okay. Again, fill that page. I don't mind the pen running out a little bit. Again, I need a colour, please. Uh, if someone wants to freestyle a colour for me, please, please do. Uh, I'm just going to mix the colour up. Uh, to the best of my ability and get it to the closest I think um, I can get to the descriptive word. But we're going to 
start painting in a minute. But I need a colour, otherwise I'm just freestyling. I'm very happy freestyling, but I'd rather include you guys. And if anyone's got a colour in their head, please, please shout it out. Really simple. Okay, so it's uh, a, look, a page full of the symbol for woman, okay. Okay, uh, let's just break these. There's a couple of hot solid circles that I don't really like here as well. So I'm just looking for those negatives, there we go. Uh, well, there was another one there. Okay. So again, all we've done is uh, used the symbol for woman and, and uh, covered our sheet in it. I have accidentally used pink. Um, so let's switch it and just put a blue in there just for a bit of contrast, see what that looks like. I'm kind of wanting to use yellow, um, but I haven't got a yellow Posca, so we might have to get the paints out for our doodle sheet. I am excited. Okay, uh, let's, let's find a good blue. So again, uh, kind of stereotypical baby blue and baby pink. Uh, again, these work really well together as, uh, as, as colours anyway, and as pens. So I'm just going to do some more female symbols in blue. Again, you know, nod towards the, uh, the balance. But again, these, the scratches in it just look amazing. And when you get the scratch from, from the blue through to the pink, even better. Pens are running out. I have a few backups. They're good. Okay, again, just switching up my pens and filling that sheet. A little, a little less uh, amount of female symbols in the blue, just because I really like that pink underneath it all. So I'm trying to keep that balance a little bit. line up here. Again that depth in some of the circles and some of the scratches I really like. That's what I'm after. A few more. He's dead now. Okay so all we've done just checking that looks okay. Uh, good morning, good morning, magenta. What an amazing colour. Um, if you know your printer, C and Y, K are the three colours that you can print in. The M stands for magenta, so magenta is kind of a, a lot, so, well, kind of a, a bit more adult version than this, so like adult pink instead of baby pink. Um, I think I might use magenta, you know. Thank you, Judy White, for the suggestion. I have some red, I have a little bit of yellow, and I have a little bit of white, and I think that's all I'm going to need. Maybe like a a flare of blue just to give it that little bit of purple, just that little bit of a kind of 3D colour, all right? But first, I'm going to show my love for the women of the world. Moms, wives, partners, friends, daughters, everything, aunties, all of them. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to just fill my sheet with hearts. I'm going to do it in a thinner pen. So we were using the fat Poscas. I'm going to go down one um, to a, a narrower uh, Posca so it looks a little bit more neater, right? So again, a very simple way of doing that is just uh, we've got our background and I seem to have misplaced my pen. Give me a second. 
that disappeared on me. Um, I'll be two minutes, if that. Sorry everybody, again the problem with multiples is you forget <laughs> which one's full, left them upstairs. Okay, so back here, we'll finish Kofi off in a minute. So again, I just want to put hearts all over this to again show that love for women. Again, fill that page, I'm using this as a kind of fake border. So just looking where I need to sit up to. But again, these hearts can be as big or as small as you like. Two ways of doing hearts, question mark, question mark, or my favorite, the single line. Adds a little bit of a different dimension to the hearts, all right? So just filling those hearts. Magenta's a really good shout, thank you Julie. So you can obviously use this as a gift if you wanted. If you've got it on a sketchbook and you've got a bit of colour in there, even if it's just the black line hearts, you can make a card out of that, you can give it to somebody, um, give it to you know, um, the, a woman in your life, girlfriend, partner, mom, you know, auntie, anything like that. So again, just nice filling these, uh, filling the page up. With some really, really simple street art hearts. Absolutely baffled by my pen shortage. Very strange. Anyway. Anyway. all roughly the same size so there is a definite kind of a camouflage wallpaper pattern going on and just making sure that we fill in all of those negative spaces so if I see a space I want to make sure there's some sort of line in it give these guys a little shaky shake Okay, another one here, and just this little corner to finish now, and then we're going to get painting, so I'm going to build that uh, magenta. Uh, raspberry juice, perfect, perfect description, Mrs. B. I, I, <laughs> I think we know you like teal. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mrs. Barton shouted teal out uh, for the past like three or four weeks. I love that colour, um, absolutely love it. It's already featured on the big piece. We've already done a couple of pieces as well. But again, I always do, I genuinely go back to that teal because it is a perfect tone against pink, black, yellow, uh, any of the kind of softer purples, any green, any blue, um, just a beautiful colour. So thank you, Mrs. B, nice work. Teal and magenta are a really nice combo, actually, thinking about it. So, uh, I mean, again, the amazing audience choosing colours that match uh, the other audience member shots. Perfect. Okay, last couple of hearts on this. Uh, 
and these are the one here. Okay. Ooh, one here. Maybe one down here as well, just being picky. Couple more. Uh, go on. I can't help it, I can't help drawing. Okay, <laughs> let's put those down. Nice, so thank you for <laughs> Cheers for spotting. So again, um, just so you can see that up close, there's a lot more kind of detail in it than uh, what it looks like on screen at the moment. Again, that's just a pink layer of the symbol for woman, uh, circle with a plus in it. We went over it with light blue, and then all we've done is our classic heart camo that I love. I love doing the heart camo, even if it looks like a bit of a doodle. Um, getting this kind of uniformity in the hearts is uh, part of the skill set and part of that practice. Um, I might do something in the middle of this as well. Something uh, something white maybe, I don't know. Something, uh, it, it seems to ask for something in the middle. I don't know if that's just me getting used to painting stuff. Uh, let's put him back up there. And we're gonna start painting. So, uh, I'm gonna try and build the obsolete magenta, okay? Or, or raspberry juice magenta. I think we'll put two of the suggestions together, raspberry juice and magenta. Um, I have uh, a little bit of red left, so here's our red, where's Mr. Red gone, I'm going to just put some solid red in here, so this is cadmium red, uh, very very nice red, one of my favourites ever actually, when it doesn't make the paint dirty, there we are, okay cool. Gonna get some more red paint as well tomorrow, I think. Okay, cool, there we go. So again, red is a little bit, I mean, uh, the red isn't magenta, the red is red. I want a magenta, which is kind of, we're looking around here, maybe a little bit darker in some of the mixes or the blends from underneath. Um, I'm gonna grab some pink. Uh, this is called Permanent Rose uh, from Cass. All, the, all my artwork, uh, all my art, Materials are from Cass Art. So I'm just going to put a little bit of pink in. We'll give that a little mix. I'm going to put a touch of white just to give him something to fight against. So there's a little bit of a blend in here as well. So we've got a little bit of a permanent rose, a little bit of cadmium red, and a little bit of white. Okay. There. I'm going to use Mr. Medium. So my uh, undead brush, he's not Mr. Dead, he's kind of come back to life after I gave him a bloody good wash the other day. Um, so I'm going to use him. I've got my water somewhere. Mm. Okay, let's mix. So we're mixing, mixy, mix, mix. Still very much a red. Oh, I don't know, hold on. He's just picked that white up, there we go. Okay, amazing. So, as I was mixing it, the red was just taken over, um, but I hadn't flipped the brush around that had all the white on it, so it's kind of gone a really, really lovely pink. Just make sure I'm pulling in all the wet red, just so we've got a brand new color in our red mixing pot. Okay, so we've got a really kind of softy, uh, well, yeah, like a, a raspberry pink, I'd say that's pretty close. Uh, purple as well, amazing. Um, put a descriptive word in front of that and it can be anything, my friend. Um, so, you know, magenta, absolutely fine. Uh, raspberry juice magenta gives a whole, a, li a little twist on the idea of magenta, much like purple. So if you wanted to say, uh, you know, like midnight purple, or even something opposite like sunshine purple, just to throw a colour in there as a descriptive and I'll try and build that kind of yellowy purple or something, right? So um, 
I don't like normal colours, base colours. I mean, I, I do, I love the primaries and all that sort of stuff, but I love the journey of building a colour. Um, so again, I can make purple, no questions asked, absolutely amazing suggestion. But if you said something like um, Dormouse purple, I would have to think a little bit more and think how am I gonna create that Dormouse into a purple. My head goes to something like um, Tom and Jerry, where they use slightly alternative colours for animal fur. There we are. I'll leave that with you. Anyway, the amazing audience of the Paint With Peace. We've got four minutes until brew time. So I want to get the basic layers on here. Um, this is going to look really, really nice. Um, so I'm thinking I'm just going to put a couple of details in. I am going to do another skull piece. I might try and make it a feminine skull. So we're kind of channeling that energy a bit more as well. Um, I dictate my feminine skulls with longer eyelashes, slightly different proportion to the face, slightly softer uh, kind of more demure um, kind of angles and all that sort of stuff. Let's see what happens. So, uh, magenta was the first, so I think, how should we do this? Let's just go in. I don't wanna sit around too long, you know. They, this is an amazing color. I think it's a little bit more strawberry than it is raspberry. Um, I can add a little bit more to get that back to that raspberry tone though. Slightly shorter. Right. But I'm also going to fill a little bit of the uh, outside with this amazing red. Again, thank you to Lady Julie for the shout. Okay, so that's base layer. Nice and scratchy. I'm not using a a wet brush or anything, um, so it's going to dry, hopefully dry pretty quick, and then we can just keep evolving our piece, all right? Uh, I've put my water somewhere and I literally can't find it. If anyone can sit, if it's uh, behind me or something, please shout. There he is. Right, cool. Found him. Yeah. Okay, lovely. So, a bit of uh, fluidity on this. I'm just going to take a lot of the paint off the brush. And then again, go back into the paint on here and just lift it off ever so slightly. Um, I do want to blend it, so I'm gonna get this, uh, I think the purple's a great shout. Yeah, yeah, uh, magenta, <laughs> squashed blackberries, this is what I'm talking about, amazing descriptive word. Um, so, I'm gonna, I am want to use this a little bit, but I don't wanna lose that red because that's a really, really nice red. Um, I'm being too precious about things, so I'm gonna leave that uh, and put a little bit of blue, a little bit of blue and a bit of white in, so I get this kind of pastel-y, uh, I'm going for a kind of pastel purple, all right? So a kind of a lot softer than a normal kind of royal purple. I'm going for a bit more of a kind of lilac, if that makes sense, or a kind of uh, lavender, like softer purple. So, I get my blue pot out, so I've got my blue paint in this one. Just gonna dip straight in. I only want a tiny bit to give him a bit more of a, oh wow, instantly amazing. Okay, so that red, that kind of, uh, yeah, raspberry red. We've kind of gone a bit more into the hedgerow, I'll be honest, with a bit of blue. So we have got this kind of uh, black current um, color going on, but again these streaks, the blending there looks insane. I love this bit of the process. Um, so I'm just gonna, we're gonna use that straight away actually. Um, I'll use a bit of the, I'll put a bit of white in in a second and we'll just start um, making that a little bit softer purple. So blue lid can go back on. There we are. Let's kick him over. Okay. So again, we've got this crazy mix. I might go in with a thinner brush. Yeah, we'll do that, I think. But I do want a little bit of this kind of blending, so. Just grab a little bit. Just give a bit, a little bit of background. I just want a kind of bit more of a solid edge. 
the skull. We can go over that in white in a minute. Okay. Again, just being dead loose with my brush here, just to give a very soft edge, very scratchy edge. Right, so he's gonna go in the water. Okay, so I'm gonna add a tiny, tiny bit of white to our mix, and we should have that um, lilac pretty spot on. And in fact, I'm gonna use my Mr. Dead. Um, so, so that's where it starts. We've got the full blend. I'm gonna use my Mr. Oh my God, immediately. I mean, this, uh, this kind of kaleidoscope of color in the white, my favorite. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, this is looking incredible. A uh, little bit more gothic um, coming through with that, uh, just picking that blue up. But this, oh my goodness. Yeah, okay, so this kind of purple, I love. We had our red pot. We put a tiny bit of blue in just to give them a bit of a purple. Use that already. Got this kind of a joker lilac, all right? So kind of joker color. Again, there's a little bit of a scrape and a bit of white coming through that. I kind of like that. I'm just gonna clean this edge up. And there's still bits of red coming through as well. Amazing, I love this color, wow. Is that a bit more, a bit more than general, I think? I don't know. Uh, the lilac. You tell me, guys. That's all right. Okay, so slightly neater. And again, I want to just fill this, just make sure this line comes in. So there's a kind of softness, uh, softness in this line. And again, just outlining. The skull, where are we gonna go? So again, for a female skull, I accentuate uh, two features. One is the lips. I mean, I always do big lips anyway. Um, almost a self-portrait, but I'm gonna do kind of more, um, like a Cupid's bow is the description. Um, like this, so a kind of a bit more elegant mouth. And then we'll do um, some long eyelashes as well. Obviously, this is a kind of working process. I also haven't called brew time, I do apologize. If you want to take off, uh, to take two minutes off, uh, you're more than welcome to. Um, I'm just gonna keep painting this because I do want it to be uh, as close to dry as I can, or as close to finished, um, so I can do that black line and maybe a white line as well. So I'm gonna keep drawing. If you want to take two to five minutes as a break, please do. Again, I know how it feels uh, when the outside world is getting a bit on top um, and you get a bit cabin fevery. Easiest way out of that head or that uh, mindset or that kind of state of mind. Drink some water, eat some food, eat some fruit, go for a walk. Very, very simple. Um, you know, come back after you walk, have a cup of tea, have a nice little sit down and then pick a pen up. That's all you need. Um, hopefully that kind of helps a little bit if you are getting a bit um, insular in, in your head. Okay, so let's get back to painting. So I'm just gonna put some uh, fairly crude, Eyelashes, she's facing that way. But again, one must crown a queen. So again, this Cupid's bow shape. Uh, not like that though. a little bit different uh, from our uh, masculine skulls or the standard skulls that I kind of paint. A little bit of hair detail. Just 
a little bit of a neck and some vertebrae. That's what they are. Cool. Okay. Okay. So, yep, I'm just going to leave that there. I'm just going to clean my brush and then go back into the painting to take the uh, paint off. Yeah, that's just me agreeing that it's dry. If you hear me saying yes, yes, yes to myself, uh, that's just me talking to my paint. There we are. Okay, so brushing the water, we'll give him a couple of minutes and see where he goes. Uh, again, if you want to name the piece, please do. She's not finished yet. I keep saying he, she's not finished yet. I'm going to add a lot of white uh, and I kind of want to bring it out a bit more as well. Um, so I'm tempted. Oh. I'm tempted to just go in with some yellow, uh, just pure lemon yellow. Put the lid back on. Uh, just to make sure we have got a bit of bright in there. Looks a little bit dark at the moment, that's fine. So, lemon yellow. Just some really standard acrylic uh, from the power shop at Corner. So, you know, I have, I have uh, varying degrees of uh, quality in the products. Um, sometimes the kind of cheaper materials, not condescending at all, the cheaper the material uh, sometimes gives you a bit more play uh, or the ability to use it more and a little bit more cavalier because you haven't spent what the normal paints cost. Um, so you can actually use like cheaper paint, you can mix it easier, you're a lot less precious about it, that's what I'm saying. Uh, okay, so let's get some, uh, just some big yellow eyes in. My brush is still a little bit too wet. Okay, and then again, just a couple of little flares of yellow. Not too much. I don't want to blend too quickly or like uh, blend with the other colors too much, but. Yeah, fine, 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 fine. Uh, I'm going to leave that to dry. Um, a little bit awkward about that, that's all right. Okay, so a little on the paint. Good morning, everybody. Let's say some hellos. So, who's on the line? Uh, Mr. Ethan Callahan, good morning. Mr. Mrs. Barton, hello. Lady Nia Meeks, good morning. Uh, Lady Julia White, uh, suggesting the purple. Thank you very much, Julia. Uh, Julie, no apologize. Uh, so, we've got a red, a purple, and a little bit of yellow. Um, I think just that, even by having that yellow there, it really kind of uh, gives the, a really nice kind of um, like basis for the other colors to bounce off. So, purple and yellow. I think always work pretty well. I want to get like a, a bit of a kind of soft green in there, like a really, really nice light green. In fact, I'm going to blend that now, two seconds. So I've got my green pot. Uh, we've From last week, we've got the, uh, the darker green, but this kind of Kelly green is just uh, our standard. This is the Graduate Acrylic by Bella and Rowney. So that green's in there. I kind of want to make it a little, again, just a little bit softer. Um, so a bit more dentist, a bit more kind of surgery, uh, you know, scrubs green or surgical green. Um, so I need my brush. And I need some white paint. Where's my towel? So I've got my pot of white. I'm going to just take a nice big lump of white paint and go straight in with that green. Again, I might add a little bit of blue to get that kind of, I'll go for a light teal, in fact. Otherwise, Mrs. Barton won't be happy. Okay, so, straight in with a mix. Already that green, oh my goodness, that's beautiful. So again, you can see the original green, and then the green that we're mixing. So, this kind of light, I'm, uh, I'm just going to use this green, I'm sorry. I'll get some tea I'll made up in a minute. Just put a couple of... 
a little something something. Then maybe... So again, just flares with this green. That green is lovely with that purple. Um, yeah, I think I found a new uh, favorite green here. Lovely stuff. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I can go over there. Yep, yep, yep. Let's just fill that in. Just get a little bit of solid. There we are. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna leave, put him back in. I kind of want a little bit of teal. Let's go for a little bit of teal. Okay. That's just a Kelly, again. <laughs> I was getting nervous about whether or not I can keep that green um, or if I can remember how to make it. All that is was the Daily and Rowney uh, light green or the Verde, I think it's called, emerald green. Um, and then white, a little bit of white. So I'm just gonna dab in the blue, just a little bit. And there's our teal straight away. So just a touch of blue. I don't want loads of teal so I don't have to mix the whole paint in the pot. So all I'm gonna do now is just add that teal. Uh, and we'll, we'll just add it here, I think. Yeah, wow. That, try not to swear, it's so nice. Um, <laughs> again, that teal is beautiful. Thank you, Mrs. B. Okay, just sitting back and having a look, that's what I'm doing there. Okay, Sam, I think if I add any more, um, one, it won't dry, uh, and two, um, it won't dry. <laughs> no, um, I don't wanna, I wanna create like a, a balance in every bit of art. I don't wanna overdo one color, um, and obviously that, that eye goes to the yellow and the green cross, and then back through the kind of colors. Um, so I kinda like that little journey through the painting. Keep doing this, um, but, I think that's the painting nearly uh, ready for a white line and then a nice black line. I might even go for uh, gold as well. You all know that I love that gold. Uh, shout out to the Montana Gold, liquid, uh, liquid gold it's called if you want to check it out. Uh, very risky though using it. Please cover your face if you do need to use it. Um, if I do use it now, I will hold my breath and get a mask on if I can see one. Okay, uh, while we're waiting for this guy to dry though, I really like this guy. Um, I think we could, in theory, we've got 15 minutes. Um, I think he's going to take about five, ten, five minutes to dry, or 10 minutes to dry, so we've got ourselves 10 minutes. Um, I think I want to do, let's see. Okay, I'm going to get a sheet of A3. Move this guy. Okay, so I'm gonna draw um, something. So if you watched the shows last week, uh, he's in there. Um, we did a floral skull. I'm basically gonna draw up the uh, symbol for woman and do something similar uh, with leaves. So I'm gonna use a couple of simple colors, maybe just the uh, Sharpies for now. So these guys, you can get these in any good stationery shop, you know, the big packs. I got mine for Christmas because <laughs> I'm a, uh, a child apparently. Um, I still love pen sets, all right? There's nothing better than a, a good pen set for Christmas. Okay, uh, so let's get him on. I'm gonna do something similar to the skull. So I wanna be bringing in um, the female symbol or the symbol the female, which we've drawn on the uh, underneath the hearts. And then I'm gonna add some leaves, and uh, it might be a little pri a little personal piece for me to just work on over the next couple of days. But again, that kind of, the, uh, the it was really therapeutic being able to just sit and color uh, my own leaves in uh, last week. So I really enjoyed that kind of process and just taking some time out and just coloring in. 
So we can do that again. If you enjoy it, bank it for the next time, nice and easy. So I just get my pencil. Okay, so I'm just basically going to draw the symbol for women. Okay, so I've got my circle with a plus sign underneath it. Oh, where is this going? Okay, yep, yep, yep. Yep, okay. Uh, again, just me agreeing with myself. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, okay, I'm just going to take those lines out just a little bit. You'll see why in a second. Okay, so last week I did them in um, Posca. I'm only going to do outlines today in the Sharpies uh, because I know that the, uh, the quality and the, the genuine thickness of the... Um, have I got some down there? Hang on. Uh, the thickness and the quality of the Posca ink uh, is a lot flatter, a lot more um, matte coverage um, than the Sharpies. But these can just be outlines. I can then choose a colour that's similar to the Sharpie colour. Work over that in the Posca, nice and easy. Okay, so let's go. So we're just doing some leaves. Again, I probably won't get this finished today. Okay, uh, we need some filter as well. There we go. All right. Uh, next, so again, I'm just going to run those greens for a minute just to see what it looks like. Make sure we get the shape confirmed as well. Uh, so, what else we got? Okay, I'm going to put a crown in just to make sure that we have one. Okay, next, next green. We are just doing the same kind of green leaves first, so like obvious connotations of uh, foliage and leaf. Okay, then I'm going to throw some colour in it as well. I've still got uh, six minutes for this guy to dry. I think we're going to be all right, you know. Uh, and I'm going to get do a two minute line, or maybe a one minute white line, and then we'll have to see what that looks like for Friday. So we're probably going to get this covered either tomorrow. Thursday portraits or Friday morning for the gallery session line. So let's throw some more colours in. Uh, let's get a nice yellow. Finish them up in a sec. Again, just randomizing colors, drawing random leaves. That's all good.
So ivy, up here, kind of like little hearts. Uh, how's that going to go? Yep. Yeah. Uh, lovely pink. I love this pink. If it's clean, which he is. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so next, we need another couple of leaves, don't we? Let's do some reeds or some grass in pink. Uh, they can be coming up here. Uh, we need some more definition around here, I think, don't we, as well? Let's do some more simple leaves. So you can see the shape coming in a little bit. Again, it probably won't be uh, super obvious until we finished it. More than okay with that. We can go into our bank of uh, knowledge. Got some beautiful colours in those Sharpies as well. Uh, in our bank of knowledge for... Oh, just our bank of, uh, of what we can do, what we can fill in later and all that sort of stuff. So let's get some more. He's a little bit too normal. all over the place. Come on. He's alright like that for a minute. Okay, cool. Uh, we need some red. I think we need some uh, like darker pink or some red. Uh, let's do one more of these. Okay, so I'm looking for my red. Um, I think red might be a bit too strong though, to be honest. It's dead. Red's dead. Okay, uh, uh, let's find this purple. What have we got in this guy? What have we used yet? Wow. Uh, we'll do some darker, lighter on it. Right. How long? Uh, one more minute and then we'll see where we're up to with this guy. I love that colour already. This kind of colour matching and balancing is amazing. Really good. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one there, just because I wanna know where my negative space is, and it will also give me a choice uh, later on. But just so you can see it, so this is the, uh, the symbol for woman, um, with some flowers around it, okay? So there's loads of different colors of uh, plants and stuff. I am gonna finish this off probably this week um, in my own time, so uh, I really like this. Uh, so yeah, we've got a kind of crown at the top, crown all your, all the women in your life, uh, everybody. Um, so we've got a nice big symbol with a plus sign at the bottom, and we've got a bit of a, a color, a couple of colours in different leaves uh, to keep it a bit ornate. I'll leave him on the wall, but you'll probably see him uh, maybe in a couple of different colours as well. And um, so I'm probably going to get the Poscas out rather than the Sharpies. Sharpies are really, really good, but for overall coverage and actual, like, complete flat um, aesthetic when you finish painting, when it's dry, nothing better than the Poscas. Okay, so, little touch test. Oh, there's bits. Oh, these are all right, actually. Okay, so the main lines are actually dry. I'm just going to go straight in with my white and my Mr. Dead because I want to just pull all those colours 
uh, in together uh, with a completely neutral tone, which is white. All right, so there's my white paint. I'm just gonna go straight in. We've got four minutes left. Uh, thank you for the compliments on the uh, floral. Okay, cool. Lovely, lovely. So I'm just gonna get Mr. Dead. He's got a little bit of purple on him, so I'm happy with that, that's all right. Um, so I'm just gonna put the eyes in and then we'll do the whole skull as well. This should be exactly the right thickness, yep. Again, just pulling a little bit of the paint off and checking my brush. Don't need too much paint. Yep. Okay, so there's a little blend going on. That's all right. We're kind of seeing this um, uh, lilac fade come through with a brush. Again, you should be cleaning your brushes, but I like to leave them with a little bit of paint on because that blend is unique. You'll never get that again. Crown for the queen. Little punk queen. Okay. Let's see, that's right. Okay, and then teeth. I need a name for her, please. So we've given her a crown. Please give her a name. And she'll be going into our gallery for Friday uh, once we've got another couple of lines on there and she's obviously dry as well. So let's just get make sure we've got some drying time. So I'm just putting some paint off a little touch. Okay, washing the water. Lid back on the paint. Two seconds. Sorry, everybody. I uh, just had to check the uh, video is still working. Again, my mic's saying silly things. Um, so, da, 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 da. okay, cool. Doesn't matter about technical issues, does it? Not in the pain of Pete, obviously. Um, so, that is our color day done. Thank you for joining me. Today's t shirt was from Habit Core. I didn't shout them out. Shout out to uh, the man. There we are. Uh, so, yeah. Habits Core off on the t-shirt. We did some colouring today. I'll take some photos of these. Uh, she needs a name. Please give her a name. More than welcome uh, to send me a message or just uh, you know type in the video, whatever. Uh, we've also done a little um, a kind of start of a piece uh, that brings back that floral leaf pattern thing in as well. I love doing that leaf pattern. I've just found it again. Um, so you might see these every week. We'll think of something every week. So today, very simple doodle sheet. Regarding, we did our initial layers in our raspberry red, uh, raspberry magenta, raspberry juice magenta, that was it. And then a kind of, uh, we went from purple to pastels, um, into a bit of green, mixed a bit of teal, added that, bit of white, added that. Did our little, uh, our little floral design. And that is the Paint With Pete done for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Ciao for now.